so I'm going to demonstrate treadling. This is my uh, Singer 9W, which used to be a Wheeler Wilson uh, 9D or D9. Um, I'm doing this so that you can see both my feet and the and how I'm holding my hand and dealing with the wheel. You can see I've already put on my belt. My belt is solid. I'm ready to sew. Everything's threaded. My needle's in. My bobbin's in. So what I'm going to do is press my feet, press, place my feet on the treadle pedal. Now you can see that I have one foot who's completely across the pedal and I have one foot on just the back little bit here. What I'm doing with that is providing a little bit of a counterbalance. I know some people only treadle with one foot. That's totally up to you if you'd like to do that. For me, I prefer to have both feet so that I can balance out and sometimes my foot gets tired. One other, the other foot could take more activity while the uh, right foot rests because it's usually my right foot that, that gets tired. The one thing I will recommend doing is practice. It takes a long time to understand how the machine works and how to treadle and get a right, get an accurate speed, get the right speed for you. Again, every treadle is different. Uh, I actually just tried to do this video and started off the way that I typically do for most of my other treadles, my singer treadles, and then I forgot that the Wheeler and Wilsons actually go backwards instead of coming at you. So again, I have everything lined up. I have my thread lined up. I have my feet in place, and I'm going to start by moving the hand wheel. I do this because I want to know which direction I'm going to be pushing. So if I'm going to be pushing with my back foot or my front foot, depending on where in the rotation the machine is. So again, I, see, I can feel by moving my, my foot or by moving the, the wheel, I can feel my left foot going back, which means I'm going to be pressing down to start the machine. So. Over time, you'll get an inkling of where you are and you'll get that feeling. Um, some books and even in early uh, early books from like 1919, 1920 about treadling say that you should be able to start a treadle with ease just by using your feet. I don't always agree with that just because I want to figure out where I am in the cycle and not everybody can do that just starting off because we're not using the machine every day and sometimes you forget for example i haven't used this machine in a few months so again i forgot which way the wheel turns so it's always good to take a couple steps with your with your hand on the hand wheel just to make sure that you're doing the right direction that the everything's working right and that you know where your feet need to go so again i'm moving my wheel i feel the the my left foot dropping which means i'm pressing on the back end to start and then here i go and you can see I'm using my right foot for most of the activity. Uh, my left foot's just providing that little extra bit of counterbalance, but if I wanted to, you can see I can slow down a little bit by using my left foot. But I'm also going to make sure that I don't set up a counterbalance because you saw the wheel went the other way. And so you always want to keep an eye on that too because you may have to stop it with your hand and then come back. But I was able to make my stitch uh, very easily. Now the other thing about machines, when you're done sewing, you want to get the, uh, the the needle bar up to the top position because that's going to be the, the opportunity to pull the threads easily. Not every machine uh, made in modernity, like today, does that, but on the older machines, it's always better to start in your top position and to end in your top position. But there you go. It's just a matter of practice and learning how to move your feet.